What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today we are doing a battle with Contenders Retail. We got three fat packs and one blaster. So in terms of cost, it's pretty even. Uh, blasters are about 25 bucks and three fat packs, probably somewhere around 25, maybe to 30 bucks for all three, somewhere in that range, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Uh, but the number of cards is definitely not the same. There's only eight cards per pack, five packs per box um, in the blaster, but we're getting 22 cards uh, for each fat pack. A lot of these are gonna be base cards though, um, which there's not really a ton of value in most of those vet base cards. But I figured, uh, you know, I haven't seen many fat packs ripped on YouTube yet, so I figured we'll do a battle between these and we'll see which one comes out on top. If you missed last Friday's video, we did a couple blasters. We got uh, that Cade draft class rookie and the dual jersey of, uh, Kaminga and Moody. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll do the fat packs first and then we'll save the blaster for last since that is, should have a hit, either um, an autograph or a uh, memorabilia card. So here's our three fat packs. Let's see if we can take a look. It might be hard to see, try and get a picture of what, what we could potentially pull out of here. And I know that might, if you wanna pause that and maybe zoom in. You can see, so we, there's still some, uh, there's Cracked Ice uh, in here, number 25, Season Ticket Premium Edition Green Shimmer. So there's a rookie variation season ticket, Green Shimmer. So there's definitely good autographs and things like that in here, but they're just super, super, super tough to pull. Um, but let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications, so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. Should have a lot of cool new stuff coming uh, next week. Should definitely have a box of Revolution Hobby as well as some other cool um, repack products with some hobby packs in it as well. So stay tuned for all that next week. So here is our base. So we're gonna go through these pretty quickly. Again, all the vet base. It's only a hundred card set, um, no base rookies. I'm not sure why that KD was upside down. Uh, there's no base rookies. The only, ooh, we might, oh no, I thought for a second we had, maybe had a backwards card, but it's just another upside down base card. So more flipping here. Steven Adams, Andrew Wiggins, Kevin Love. We got a Zion parallel. That's gonna be a green foil parallel. Not super crazy, but a parallel nonetheless. Andrew Wiggins, international ticket. Got another draft class. It's gonna be Alpern Shangun. Gonna add that one to the set chase. And another international ticket of Kyrie Australia. Maybe Kyrie is heading back there on a summer vacation that started early. <laughs> There's fat pack number two. So nothing much in fat pack number one. So again, we're really looking for the off chance we might hit a nice auto or something like that. So yeah, it's hard to tell. Probably mostly base cards in contenders. So we're actually getting a lot of the same base cards we just got in the previous pack, unfortunately. CJ McCollum, Okoro, Schroeder. Yeah, we saw these in the last pack. There's, oh, we've got another green variation and that's gonna be Anthony Edwards. Okay, Ant-Man second year. I guess I'll put that in the hit stack for now. I don't know what else we're gonna get that could end, end up in the hit stack. Um, Dikembe, got a Chris Duarte draft class and a game night ticket of Bojan Bogdanovic. Okay, I guess, well, well I guess we'll, let's throw the rookies in the hit stack, just so we have something in there. Hit stack is gonna be probably pretty skimpy. Let's see, here's fat pack number three. Let's see if we can pull anything better than just a base rookie and a non-numbered green foil parallel. Come on, let's see some cracked dice. Let's see an auto. Let's get something big here. Tatum, Sabonis, John Wall. Man, John Wall still making his way into a uh, I don't even know how they've got a picture of him taking a shot in Houston. I don't think he played the entire season. Must be from a previous year or summer league or something like that. But healed. Steven Adams, Wiggins. Yeah, we've got a lot of doubles on these base cards. Oh, there's another green foil parallel, and that's just going to be Drew Holiday. AK-47, international ticket. 
Another draft class can be Davion Mitchell. And the last card is Giannis. All right, so got a couple rookies, got an Ant-Man and a Zion Greenfoil parallel. That's really about it. So nothing much at all in those fat packs. So probably pretty typical of what you can expect to get out of those. Blaster, at least we'll get a, either a jersey card or an auto. And if anyone missed last Friday's and you want to pause that and see what we can get out of here. So again, chances at numbered cards, autos, all kinds of stuff, but just super, super tough to hit those. Let's pull all of our packs out. Let's see if we got a thick pack with a jersey card. Yeah, this top one seems kind of thick, so that's probably, probably gonna have our jersey card. So most likely not get an auto in this, but maybe we can pull a numbered card. But this, this stuff can be tough. Carmelo, Akoro, Schroeder. <laughs> this is like the third Schroeder we've gotten so far. Turner, Buddy Healed. Got a Rudy Gobert, Red Foil Parallel. And there's a draft class of Keon Johnson. Okay, so at least I'm getting some rookies to put towards that set I'm working on. It's about the only saving grace so far from what we've pulled out of here. Steven Adams, Andrew Wiggins, yeah, Kevin Love. I feel like we've gotten all these guys three times already. This is going to be a bronze parallel, John Collins. International ticket, Rudy Gobert, France. I know there's a, there's a Ginobili in this set, and I feel like I've pulled every player so far except Ginobili. All right, pack number three. There's only five packs in these blasters. Porzingis, Poku, Butler, Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Brown, Rui, Norm Powell, and Kevin Porter Jr. Game night ticket insert. Baisley, Barrett, Lowry, Christian Wood, Chumo Kiki, and draft class of Trey Murphy. Okay, another rookie. So at least we've gotten a few rookies. And last pack, this one is thick, so it definitely should have our memorabilia card. And let's see if there's anything else exciting in here besides that card. Probably not. Let's uh, see these first few. Booker and Bede, Devontae Graham. And let's go from the back. That's going to be Dirk International Ticket. And here is our jersey card. Ooh. RT. So it's a duel again. G L E. Who is G L E? What team? G League? Oh, yeah, there you go. Joe Kaminga again on the duel. This one is with Jalen Green. So I guess they figured uh, put two G League. Yeah, so the GLE must be G League. So put two G League guys. So we got a Jalen Green and Kaminga. So that's probably even better than the Kaminga and Moody we got out of the last blaster. So, okay. I definitely think that puts the blaster over the top. So if we're looking to actually battle, I don't think the fat pack is going to stand up. We got a couple rookies, three rookie cards. We got one in each fat pack. Got an Ant-Man green foil. Nothing really exciting there and the blaster was looking pretty rough until the very end we got a couple more rookies Trey Murphy and Keon Johnson but then we got another dual uh jersey swatch again would have been awesome to get this in the patch but I know those are super tough to hit but Jalen Green Jonathan Kaminga duel not too bad that's gonna do it let me know uh drop a drop a like drop a comment let me know what you thought of this battle if you want to see more contenders retail i probably won't be ripping a whole lot more uh retail of this stuff just because it's you can see it's a lot of base cards nothing super super crazy um unless you pull something really rare but that's gonna be extremely tough to do that so that's gonna do it for contenders stay tuned for more stuff coming next week like i said revolution hobby plus some nice some nice repack products and some other cool stuff so stay tuned for all that thanks for watching this video and i'll see you all on the next one